Hi, this is Nick from CandleWeld coming at you from our office in Vaughan, Ontario today. Uh, today I wanted to briefly touch on some of the different oxyacetylene uh, cutting and brazing products that we have. So the first thing you're going to need if you want to do some cutting or some brazing with oxyacetylene is a good quality regulator. So this is our heavy duty style uh, acetylene regulator. These are made for us by Victor. Um, I love these. They're heavy duty, they're solid brass. The instruments up here and here, if you ever break this, we can sell these uh, as like, cheap replacements. You don't have to buy a whole brand new regulator. You can just get the gauge and uh, they're nice and big. They're easy to read and uh, yeah, they're just very well made. Remember, when you're using the regulator or you're using the torches or anything like that, when you're setting it up, these are made out of brass. You don't need to use a pair of vice grips or a wrench. Whatever you can hand tight together is good enough. You want a little bit of Teflon tape so you don't have leaks, but you don't want to be reefing these parts together because you're going to strip them and they're going to be ruined. So after that, we got some of the heads for our uh, medium duty cutting torches. These are nice, uh, good for cutting up to, um, you know, maybe half inch thick steel, smaller duty stuff. Um, over here we have our brazing torch so you have your oxygen on the one side and your acetylene on the other side and this is for doing oxyacetylene welding which is something I haven't done since 2000 when I was back in welding school but uh, some people still do do it and it does have some real world applications and if you are in need of one we have them in stock Lastly, uh, we have the heavy duty cutting torch which is what I use for my oxyacetylene setup at home and on my rig so I'm going to show you guys how to put this together. Uh, here we have the heavy duty body. I'm going to thread it together onto the head. Now we have a million different types of cutting tips and heating tips. So today I have a standard size cutting tip. Take that, drop it through the nut, and then again, you just hand tight thread this on. Now there's no Teflon tape on these. I wouldn't put it on the end, but I would put it down here. Okay, so now that it's all together, um, you may not be able to see this from the camera, but this side is labeled oxygen, this side is labeled gas. So make sure you hook up your acetylene to this side, hook up your oxygen to this side. When you're ready to start doing some cutting, you're going to crack this valve just a little bit, quarter turn, until you can smell a little bit of acetylene coming out. You're gonna use your striker or your lighter uh, light it up and you're going to have an orange flame coming out the end. Once you have that orange flame coming out the end, you have to crack the oxygen just a little bit. If you crack it hard, you're going to blow this out. So you just crack it just a little bit and ease into it. And you're going to see the flame turn into a bright blue cone with a little bit of a, a, little bit of a brighter blue feathery tip on the inside of it. If the blue flame starts to leave the end of the cutting torch, like there's almost like a clear gap, then you know you have too much pressure you've gone too far. So you would balance it just using the oxygen like that and you just keep turning it up little by little until you have what you think is a hot enough, big enough flame for you to do your cutting with. Once you're on the fly, if you need to make any fine tuning to the oxygen, you can do that again up here. Uh, most of the torches I used in the past didn't have this. So at first I wasn't used to it and I wasn't using it, but I actually kind of like it now because it's a little bit easier to get to without repositioning yourself all around. So. Once you have your flame perfect, you drop it down until you're just about a millimeter or so on top of the steel. You let it heat, 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 heat until you see it get nice and orange and a little bit of a puddle. And then you're going to hit this and that's going to blast the oxygen out of it. And you're going to punch right through that piece of steel and slowly drag it along, maintain your gap. And next thing you know, you're cutting steel like you got a lightsaber in your hands. So that's pretty much it. Um, if anybody wants to check these out in person, I'd like to invite you to come on down to our office anytime. Uh, I have these on display and we have everything set up in the back, so anytime we can fire these up and we can cut a bit of steel. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and please uh, smash that subscribe button down below. And if you're tech savvy, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Stay safe and have a lot of fun.